Ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. You're going to get a two for one in this uh, video where I'm going to take a look at two of the major currency pairs, the dollar versus Canada and the dollar versus Swiss. Both are making a, are trying to make a break uh, to the downside here uh, with a dollar weakening uh, move. Uh, we'll see if that, that momentum can continue. Let's start by taking a look at the dollar versus Canada. I'm going to focus on the hourly chart. If we take a look at this uh, currency pair, uh, the uh, price action today on the hourly chart saw the saw the price move up to retest the 100 hour moving average here and here and each of those tests found willing sellers not far away from that moving average line that 100 hour moving average comes at 1.40359 and holding resistance against it on two separate occasions now increases that level's importance uh, today and going forward it would take a move back above that level to increase the bullish buys but we could expect to see uh, sellers against that level on a test if it should get up there. However, uh, the move back to the downside, as you can see, came down to test the 200 hour moving average. That's a green line in this chart. We based against that level a few days ago, moving to the upside off of that uh, with a uh, one, two, three, four, five straight days to the upside. I guess it was six straight days to the upside for that uh, currency pair before we saw the uh, move to the downside and trading yesterday. And now we're working on two days lower for the dollar versus Canada. Uh, but falling below the 200-hour uh, moving average right here uh, has uh, increased the bearish bias. Uh, bias uh, The 200-hour moving average comes in at 1.39769. Uh, that uh, level is important, but uh, it also is important off of the daily chart as well, because if you go to the daily chart and look back at the high price going back to 2022, that high price came in at 1.3978. Eight five, so just uh, two pips above the uh, 200 hour moving average. Uh, so getting back below that level is also uh, somewhat negative. The high price that we saw in 2024 uh, before the move higher that we saw in trading last week uh, or this, this month, I should say, uh, came in at 139.458. So getting below that level on the daily chart would also be I added uh, will add to the bearish bias uh, for the dollar versus Canada get below that but that level keeps the sellers um, happy and uh, makes the buyers gives traders cause for pause as to the uh, increased bullish bias we may be in in store for further corrective uh, action to the downside so uh, be aware of, of this area right here near the 139 77 78 level on the downside the next key target off of this uh, hourly chart comes against the well actually the four hour the 100 bar moving average on the four hour chart the level comes in at 1.3942 it also is near this swing area right through here where we had a number of different swing lows and swing highs coming into play through here uh and uh here before uh breaking uh, to the upside uh through here so uh that area comes between 1.3945 and 1.3958 next key targets on the downside let's uh, take a look at the dollar versus a uh, swiss franc i've said that it was breaking as well and uh, the uh, move to the downside has seen its price move below the 200 hour moving average that's a, a higher green line right here there is also another moving average line right here that's a 200 day moving average and it's pretty much at the same level as a 200 hour moving average but those levels come in around the 0 0.8825 level so be aware of that the current price is trading at 0.88198 just below that level so watch that level uh uh in trading here today if the price can stay below that level the bias remains more to the downside now on the downside we do have the 50 percent midpoint that 50 percent midpoint is the uh midpoint of the move down from this high going back to the month of April to the low price that we saw in September. That 50% retracement level comes in at 0 0.8798, just right, right near the 0 0.88 level. Get below that level, opens the door for a move down toward this swing area between right around the 0 0.8775 level. So be aware of that. But the key uh, for this uh, currency pair is staying below the 200-day moving average, staying below the 200-hour moving average. Both those levels come in right around the 0 0.8820 area. So that's my uh, look at the uh, dollar versus Canada and dollar versus Swiss. Both of, both of those currency pairs are trying to make a break to the downside. We'll see if they can, can keep that momentum going. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.